Hey everyone, BNSF9382 here with a new video. Uh, sorry it's been a while. I've been uh, kind of neglecting the layout here for the last few months and in the last couple weeks I've kind of gotten back out here into the garage and and started getting things kind of cleaned up for the winter and hopefully this winter uh, get to spend some more time out here working on this. So anyway, I got uh, got all the track cleaned up, and it had been a while since I had run any trains. So got the track all cleaned, uh, got the locomotives pretty much cleaned up and running, and <clears throat> just wanted to kind of put out a new video. So just so everyone knows that if I am subscribed to your channel, uh, I have been watching a lot of videos, Vinny and and all the guys that are putting out videos and your live chats and all those things. Uh, I have been watching most of those and, and keeping up to date with what's going on. So I appreciate everybody's videos and I appreciate the comments that I'm still receiving on some of my older videos. So if you've been watching some of the older videos that I've done uh, over the last three, four years, uh, please go back and you know continue watching and watch some of the the newer videos because things continue to change. So anyway, uh, hopefully this winter I can spend some more time working on the layout and providing some more reliable or consistent updates. So the one uh, the subject of this video is going to be probably the last thing I did on the layout. Uh, few five or six months ago however long ago it was so the last thing that I really did in the layout was I installed a frog juicer the <clears throat> there's a kind of a trade-off in in my opinion between using you know tortoise switch machines uh, to control the power the polarity of your frog or to use a frog juicer so as you all know, most of my turnouts on my layout are Pico Electro Frog turnouts. So the whole idea of that is that you can power, electrically power the frog so there's no loss of power. There's no dead space in the entire turnout. So with that being said, there's basically two methods for powering a frog, the tortoise switch machine or a uh, frog juicer. So the reason I went with the frog juicer in this example is because the turnouts are very close to the edge of the layout and they're easily reachable by the operator. So I didn't really need to see a need to install a full tortoise switch machine in these locations just to uh, basically to power the frogs and obviously throw the turnouts. But uh, with that being said, I went ahead and, and ordered and received and installed my first frog juicer. The, as we all know, things in this hobby can get fairly expensive and tortoise switch machines being 10, 12, 15 bucks a piece, in my opinion, are fairly expensive uh, when you're, you know, when a layout may have 50 or 60 turnouts, that, that gets very expensive. So this frog juicer is, is, in my opinion, is a little more expensive than I would like as well. Um, I, wish the, uh, I wish they were less expensive. I would probably have more of them on the layout. But anyway, uh, this is not a re necessarily a review of the frog juicer, just kind of an update on what I've done to the layout in the last couple months. And we'll show it to you here real quick. Hold on. Oops. So anyway, here's the uh, package for the frog juicer. I installed this hex frog juicer, which obviously control can control up to six frogs uh, for your turnouts. So with that being said, I installed this on six different Pico electro frog turnouts. So, in this area of my layout, the two turnouts that are ballasted there that are going into the Translow facility, 
those two frogs are powered by the frog juicer. These two turnouts as well. And then these two turnouts as well. For a total of six turnouts that are the frogs are powered by this frog juicer. So I don't have a train or anything running on this uh, through these turnouts right now, but I can tell you that once you turn the direction of the turnout, once a locomotive or once a something with power gets up here to the frog, this frog, the power will automatically switch uh, polarity to keep constant motion. So you flip, you throw the, the turnout when the locomotive gets up to the powered frog, the circuit will automatically switch the polarity depending on which way you're going. That way there's no loss of power. So anyway, uh, you can Google or look up. There's a ton of videos on these frog juicers and how they trip and how they're thrown and how they operate. But in a nutshell, these two wires here on the bottom are my track power, black and white. Coming in from track power. And then you have six wires coming in here for each of the six frogs. When this uh, does change the polarity of the frog, the lights will change from red to green or green to red. But anyway, this is uh, just kind of a quick update to let everybody know I was still around and that I've been watching a lot of videos. And uh, hopefully again this winter we can get some work done here in the layout and keep everyone up to date on progress so anyway we'll uh end this video for now appreciate everybody watching and all the comments and let me know if you have any questions or comments and i guess that's about it for now so for now bnsf 9382 out